sitting judgment in Zamfara State, and there is also a judgment in El Moni State. So we've chosen the one to obey. We will not obey his ruling, we will obey the ruling of a competent court of equal uh, 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 level that says you cannot sue a governor. The exceptions of the constitution are very clear. No. Uh, Senator Dr. Eachai, Deputy National Chairman, National Secretary, Senator Samuel. I am all the entire National Working Committee members here, and also Deputy National Officers, particularly the officer who is probably with Gara, the National Policy Secretary, and who is the Gentlemen of the Press. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome this evening to the World Press Conference to be addressed by the National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party on behalf of the entire party, leadership of this party, regarding today's verdict, uh, court verdict, without uh, wasting time, let me humbly invite the National Chairman for his test. National Chairman, sir. As he's coming, please let's not block the eyes so much. Gentlemen of the press, I welcome you to this World Press Conference. That will be brief and straight to the point. It follows the sacking from the office of the uh, state governor, His Excellency Chief David Umay and his deputy. His Excellency Chief Kelechi Ikweli by a federal high court was defecting to the ruling for progressive Congress. In the same ruling, the court presided over by Justice Inyan Eko also sacked 17 members of the Republican State House of Assembly who also was affected with the governor and the deputy to the ADC. You will recall that Governor Mai, deputy, and the 17 lawmakers were elected on the platform of the People's Democratic Party in 2015 and again in 2019. They defected to the LBC on November 17, 2020, citing in quotes injustice done to the Southeast and determined to reclaim our stolen mandate. The PDP have used them, have sued them, and joined both the APC and Isaac to the suit. We have prayed the court to declare that by defecting from the PDP, on whose platform they were sponsored and elected, my equipment and the 17 lawmakers are resigned or deemed to have resigned from office on the day of their defections. Because when people vote, they don't vote for the individual. They vote for the party. So by resigning, they were taking away our mandate, the mandate of the party. And the Federal High Court Sitting in Abuja gave the PDP and democracy justice today. In the landmark judgment, the court ruled that the votes in any election in Nigeria are the political parties in court and not candidates. Justice Echo consequently ordered all the affected persons to vacate office. 
He also ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to receive names of candidates from the PDP to replace Moses Moyle and Igwe. First, we want to appreciate the Nigerian judiciary for this landmark document. The ruling will bring order in the political space and check the issue of political rascality and stolen mandates. The judiciary is indeed the backbone of this democracy. We also want to single out Justice Inge and Lepo for special recognition, particularly for being courageous and forthright in going for the substance of the law rather than the technicality. And in line with the court order, PDP is immediately submitting to INEC the names of our candidates for governor and deputy governor of the police state, respectively. In fact, that already has been done. And in line with the court order, we are also calling on INEC to immediately issue the certificates of return to the PDP nominees as replacement for Mrs. Mrs. Umadi and Igwe, who shown to the order of the Honorable Court. Furthermore, we call on the Chief Judge of the Bonny State to immediately swear them in as soon as INEC issues the requisite certificates of return. And lastly, we call on INEC to immediately withdraw the certificates of return from the 17 lawmakers and commence the process of conducting by elections to replace them. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you very much, sir. PDP! We have all listened to the test of the press conference addressed by the national chairman of our Green Party. And it's so straightforward. And on this note, 